Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of March or the 22nd through the 31st. Okay, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got three cards that fell out. We're going to take those. What do we have for Virgo for the week ahead? The April 1 will be done in the next couple of days. <laughs> Coins. Money will be coming to you. That's probably why it's going to be done in the next couple of days. You're probably very, very busy. Okay, money will be coming to you. Cain, pay attention to your health. You gotta pay attention to your health, Virgo. Mice, discord among friends or family. So you probably got some discord going on with the old friends and family. Nothing new. Money will be coming to you. Pay attention to your health. Pay attention. Maybe you're working too hard and you're neglecting your health. You need to pay attention to your health. You know, I did a reading a couple weeks ago. Or I don't even know when it was, but there was this one of these round cards had like a wedge. It said wedge, and I didn't bring it up. But after the reading, it came to me multiple times. It was uh, you're tempted. It was about temptation, and I talked about the devil and bad habits and all kinds of stuff. You know, I forgot to mention there's something about you know overeating. So you know, I don't know if you need to really pay attention to the foods that you put into your mouth. You know, it's something to do with vegetables and make sure that you're eating healthy, paying attention to what you're eating. Um, because right, I mean, several times when that reading came up, you know, I see it obviously every day because it's in my fee feed, um, in my videos. Every time I looked at that, I was like, that's a piece of cake, that's a piece of cheesecake, or that's a piece of cake, or something like that. And I didn't even mention it in the reading. And but it came to me multiple times that I should have told you guys, you know, to pay, att pay attention to the foods that you're putting into your body because it's affecting your health. Okay, money will be coming to you. So I feel like you're working really, really hard. You may be neglecting your health, or you need to really work on your health right now. Uh, there's obviously mice are pests. Okay, so you may be dealing with some pests. Um, Hmm. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo for the week ahead? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. Luck is on your side. If you're thinking about playing the lottery, this week would be the week. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if you go get a lottery ticket and you win some money. Um... You know, this is the Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor. This is destiny. It's karma. This is life that is always changing. It's very positive. It's very positive life change. So positive change is coming. This is fortune. Okay, so there is some sort of fortune that is coming to you, whether it's monetary fortune or it's just a blessing. Something good is coming your way. Three of Wands reverse. You're probably not going to be prepared for it. This is unprepared. Lack of foresight. So there's something coming your way that you may be unprepared for. King of Cups. Uh, King of Swords. Ooh, I was going to clarify that King of Cups. We have somebody here that, it's interesting because this feels like we have somebody here that is very to the point. Okay, this person is not, well, you're dealing with somebody who is, very factual, okay, this so you're, you may be receiving some information or your or message or communication from somebody that is, uh, well, I think they're going to be giving you some factual information. There's, there's uh, emotional coldness here. This person may seem like they're cold, but they're really just to the point. Uh, they're not interested in... Uh, hurting your feelings. They're not trying to hurt your feelings. Um, whatever information that you're getting or whatever is happening is very authentic, very truthful. Um, hmm. King of Cups reverse is, is withdrawn emotionally. 
somebody may have been hiding their feelings or not looking for a relationship or not emotionally available. There's some, the, the King of Swords next to the King of Cups, we have cold, detached, detached emotionally. So I don't know if you're detached emotionally or if you're dealing with somebody that has been detached emotionally, but the Wheel of Fortune um, is a change of course. Okay, that's things that are changing. I feel like whoever uh, is gonna, you're gonna be running into, or whoever, whatever is happening, uh, you're unprepared for it. You don't see it coming. You definitely don't see it coming. King of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but the King of Swords is a, some like this is probably a conversation. You're gonna have a conversation with somebody that may put you in your feelings. This card just came out. Four of Pentacles reverse. Now this is <sighs> unstable, insecure, emotionally unstable, emotionally insecure. Letting go. It's time to relax. Some, we may have somebody here that has been very stubborn extremely stubborn miser you may be you may have been dealing with a miser now somebody is letting go they're letting go of something maybe they were just insecure there's some sort of insecurity somebody may be letting go of their insecurities or letting go of something that they were holding on to now this is a new perspective so somebody may have gained a new perspective or they're going to be gaining a new perspective, seeing things very, very clearly. Somebody hasn't been seeing something clearly, but there is clarity that is coming. Coming. I feel like somebody's going to be receiving a, an unexpected message, or they're going to in, get themselves in an encounter with somebody that really puts them in their feelings. Hmm. This is challenging information. The King of Swords is challenging information. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody didn't put in effort. They didn't put in effort. Something didn't work out because somebody uh, wasted time. They missed an opportunity. They uh, waited too long. Somebody has, has uh, they didn't see an opportunity. There was lack of foresight. They were unprepared. So you may be dealing with somebody that was unprepared to lose you. I don't know if you have made a decision to let go of somebody because this is a decision being made to let go of somebody, to not put in effort. So I don't know if that's the case. You may have made a decision to not, to, you know, to let go of somebody. Somebody is really, really in their emotions, uh, having a hard time mastering their emotions, maybe crying a lot. They may be crying over the loss of you. I feel like there is somebody here that is crying over the loss of you or their, their, their feelings. They're in their feelings over that loss of you. They are totally unprepared. They were unprepared to lose you. But it's meant to be. There's destiny here. This is a destined change of course. That King of Swords is a new perspective that is being gained. But it's in the past. I think somebody, you may have given somebody a new perspective by leaving them, you know, and they were unprepared for it. They were unprepared for your departure. Wheel of Fortune is a change. It's destiny. It's everything happens for a reason. Destined change, of course. There's going to be a change here. Something is meant to be. That's destined. It's karma. The wheel is spinning you in a new direction. Ooh, justice. And seven of swords reverse. Now, interesting. Justice is a card of something going in your favor. Okay, this is justice being served. There's obviously an imbalance here. I feel like balance is about to be restored. We definitely have some karma. Karmic consequences. Somebody did something that they shouldn't have done, and now there's karmic consequences for that. There is karmic consequences. This is karma, and this is karma. Um, somebody is about to receive some sort of 
decision. If something is a decision is going to be made in your favor this week. Seven of Swords reversed. Now the Seven of Swords reversed is. Uh, I don't know. So maybe somebody has skipped town. You know, they've skipped town. They left. What they did something. You know, without anybody knowing. This is turning a blind eye. Somebody turned a blind eye to the truth. You know, it feels like we have somebody here that may have, uh, this could be slander. It could be slander. It could be malice, taking credit for someone's work, getting caught. There's There could be news of legalities this week. Justice, karma, a verdict being judged and I know it's not the judgment card somebody is going to be judged for their behavior this is the card of consequences this is the laws of karma everything turning out as it should something is going to go in your favor because this is good luck so something is going to go in your favor this week I feel like you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions or they're in denial. This is coming clean and owning up. You know, somebody may be coming clean and owning up to what they did. We have somebody here that is, there's illegal activities here. Somebody is getting caught. Or they're getting caught or they're getting justice or they're getting karma for doing something that is illegal. You know, there's consequences for that. So there's consequences here. But everything is going to turn out in your favor because this Wheel of Fortune and Justice is upright. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody in a position of authority that is making a decision in regards to somebody that, you know, is emotionally unavailable. This person doesn't master their emotion. We could have somebody that here that has a drinking problem. I mean, the King of Cups may have addictions in reverse. This is somebody that is very secretive, very cunning, um, can't control themselves, withdrawn, detached, doesn't communicate well, uh, wears their emotions on their sleeve, you know, lets everybody see their emotions. Hmm. I wonder if somebody could also be losing their job or losing something. Um, and I hate to say that. I think that some you're dealing with somebody that is about to receive karma for um, not putting in effort when they should have. And maybe it's your goodbye. Justice is karma, something going in your favor. If the, you are dealing with any legalities this week, it is going to go in your favor. We have somebody here that has, uh, I feels like, I mean, this is like s slander of some sort. Um, seven of swords reversed. That is shirking responsibility. Can't face the music. There's consequences. Getting caught. We have somebody here that is a scam. This person is a fake. Um, they're untrustworthy. They thought they were going to get away with whatever lies they were doing or whatever it is that they were doing behind the scenes. And all of a sudden, karma and destiny steps in and changes the whole situation. This is a final, a final verdict of some sort. I think that something is becoming made final. We have somebody here that can't get away with the deception. They can't get away with the lies. They can't get away with what they were doing. It's not going to work out. We have somebody here that is very perceptive, that is very intelligent, that can see right through the lies, can see right through the situation. And whatever this is, justice is going to be served this week. I feel like um, with that three of, so three of wands reversed, there's some sort of unprepared, unprepared for a loss. Somebody's unprepared for a loss, but it all happened for a reason. 
justice is going to be served. Somebody's about to receive some sort of balance or maybe even a reward with that Wheel of Fortune because it ends with fortune. There's some sort of reward coming. Somebody may be signing a new contract this week. I don't know. Maybe it's a work contract. I don't know. They may be signing a new contract. But anyhow, whatever's happening, you're going to be receiving something that you did not expect. Four of Wands reversed. And the Four of Wands reversed is... Oh, messy situation. We do have a messy situation. I think we have somebody here that has been partying a lot. They've been going overboard. They have. Or maybe they already went overboard. And it caught up to them. It did catch up to them. And it's over. Because the Wheel of Fortune is a 10. It is a completion. It is the end of a cycle. So a new positive chapter is beginning for you. This chapter of not getting what you deserve, this chapter of deception and lies and overdoing it and partying, whatever it is, is over. Okay, whatever it was. Could be a marriage. We, have, we, we could have a marriage that has fallen apart or a partnership or a commitment that is over. This is definitely over. Something is over. You are about to go in a new direction and you are about to get exactly what you deserve. Okay, somebody's going to get what they deserve. We could have somebody that is getting into a new contract that leads to marriage in the future. And you don't see it coming. You don't. And it could be with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, it looks like it's a, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I don't know. Um, anyhow, um, I don't think it is. I feel like the ending is with somebody that is uh, extremely emotional and... Uh, I feel like there's been there was some deception in the past. There was lies. There was maybe even cheating. Uh, you know, some it didn't work out for a reason, and now we have a change, of course. So anyway, good luck is on your side. You may run into somebody, I, and you could run into somebody where there's a lot of people. You know, at a gathering, a get together, it could be a store where there's people all around. You could run into somebody suddenly. You know, and, you're in, and you have a conversation with this person and things happen, okay? That could be an instant for some of you. I do believe you're going to find yourself at the right place at the right time and it changes your future, okay? It changes your future just like that. Oh, Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is a new opportunity. It's money. It's investments, it's abundance, it's prosperity, it's health, it's a new business, a new partnership, it's a windfall. If you go to a store and you buy a lottery ticket, I mean, I would if I was you, and I'm talking to Virgos. Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. I feel like you are going to be going down a new path, a path to a prosperity this is uh, abundance. I feel like you're going to be given a gift or you're going to have a windfall or something is happening. You are going to be receiving something that you can take to the bank. This is long-term success. It's permanent. It's a permanent situation. You manifested it. This is what you asked for. Look at how beautiful it is. This is being in a beautiful place. So I do believe that you are going to, it feels like you are going to receive something that could last. This is, this is something solid, something stable. It could be a job offer. Whatever it is, you're going to receive something of big value this week. That brings you financial security. This is security, the gift of security. You're going to receive a real, solid, stable offer that you totally don't expect. Good luck.